Hey, it's Yolanda at Dry Your Buzz, and of course, 27 Answers. Yes, we are loving the rollout of IGTV, and you've already asked us for some answers on what our strategy might be. So here are some quick answers on using IGTV for brands. So on your Instagram, IGTV, on your profile now, you have a button right under your bio. Uh, Of course, you have your highlight reel, but then you also have this new button called IGTV. On their home button, at the top of the home button, they have an IGTV button. And with that button, they can now browse through all of the videos that their followers are loading, right? So, but if it's the habit of your user, your followers to go to your profile, and as a brand, hopefully you are, you are dictating, you are guiding, you are reminding them to go to your profile, because what does that do? That closes out all of that other noise that brings them into your intimate environment. And we encourage that each and every time when using social media for a business or using social media as a brand. Now, I created my image that you see there. I created that in Canva. I create my videos in iMovie. But I noticed that when I did the video in portrait mode in iMovie, thinking it was going to satisfy IGTV and YouTube, I still had to go and do some type of convergence to get it to work perfectly and upload into YouTube. We're not talking about YouTube right now. We're talking about IGTV as a strategy for brands. Okay, let's go back to the drawing board. Now, you've got 15 second stories, you've got one minute posts, and you've got 10, up to 10 minutes of video. Here's where Instagram was listening. Instagram, the one thing we wanted in an IGTV is we wanted active links, okay? So, I'm going to show you an upload of an IGTV. So, we're going to go to IGTV. You see that add button right there, right? That allows me to scroll my screen to grab a video. So, I'm going to grab the podcast video. We'll use that, pause that again. Here's where, here's what we really love about IGTV. Once, look at that. I, I really love utilizing that full real estate, right? So, you hit your next button. You can edit your cover, edit the cover. You can add if you need to. Most people will need to uh, add in the additional cover. You can go to your camera roll or you can use a cover from there. If I had different different um, images in this video, I'm using a, a video as a podcast as a video. I would simply see me scrolling left to right. I would simply pick the cover and just say done. Now in the title, I can say how to... Create, and as you see my wording popping up there for me, how to create buzz. But here's what we love about the description. This is where brands will start jumping up and down. Hallelujah, choir, amen. Because not only can you do your app, you can tag uh, an account, which, but you notice the accounts don't, don't pop up, so you need to know the name. At Dryer Buzz New Podcast, I can, you can, you can, Use your hashtags. Wait, it's coming. Wait for it. And the links are active. So you can say HTTP. If I could type HTTP. We can say HTTP. And we can put in our website. 27answers.com And as long as you put in the HTTP or the HTTPS uh, and the website, you're going to get an active link. So you have an active mention an active hashtag and an active link it gets no better for brands okay and that's something similar again to what you've got going on with youtube if you're talking about if you're doing a product review um you're loading a product you want people to buy that's the best thing ever now also it says make visible on if you have and this is why um i love having this account so now i want to make it visible Oh, I'm going to actually turn that off because we've already got this podcast loaded. But for the sake of it, um, I can turn that on and it'll go to a page. Now, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post that video. And you can see it's already um, started the loading. It's going to go ahead and finish. And once it finished loading, it will pop in. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about it. There he is. Let me move that. So now we're going to talk about the strategy. Now, this is the most important part about using IGTV for brands 
is how do I get traffic on this? Now, you know Instagram, using the hashtag is going to bring traffic to your post, right? And now, we didn't put in a whole bunch of tags or anything like that. You can fill up that description as much as you want to, as much as you can. But here's another important part. Now, if they press the down arrow, they will see your description. And as you can see, the pod, the, the mention is uh, active, the hashtag is active, and the link is active. I'll go ahead and click on that link since it is my website. And as you can see, boom, they can actually land on the website. That's a hallelujah moment when using IG for brands. Okay, so now let me tell you what the strategy is for this. So you've got your IGTV loaded. Now you want to drive extra traffic, not just with the hashtags and the description you put on your IGTV. You want to drive traffic from stories because you've got stories, you've got posts, and now you've got TV. So if you go to your story, let's go to the story. We're going to go to our um, map here. And I'm going to just grab a snippet. I'm going to scroll down to that podcast, right? So I'm going to just grab this podcast. In fact, uh, let's just grab a picture, right? But now the good thing about it, we'll drop that in the trash. With IGTV, in your stories, you can now link to your IGTV. See the link button up here at the very top of the real estate, top of your platform. The first icon is an X. The second one over is your link button. It's going to say link to IGTV. So I'm going to go to IGTV and that particular post, and I'm going to go over here to the original one because we're going to delete that one. And now I could just link to that. The link is there. And then I can also add in, of course, you know, any hashtags, title, location, and so forth. Um, You can now type and put any wording on there. I'm not going to do that because I've got enough wording on there. But if I wanted to do uh, a hashtag, I would just simply say like hashtag podcast. So I'm going to put podcast right there. And then I would basically put in a location. I could do any mentions. I'm going to go ahead and, and mention. In fact, I'm going to mention 27 answers because that way, if they want any other information, they can go over to 27 answers. I want to put that there because that's where the podcast is, is from. So now this story, it has an active hashtag, which is going to bring traffic. It has a mention, which is also active, but I'm going to show you why brands are so excited about IGTV. So we're going to go ahead and load that story. And I'm going to switch accounts here so that we can look at that story. Let's go over to dryerbuzz.com. And then we're going to do a search for Dryer Buzz. There's Dryer Buzz right there. So now I'm viewing my, my IG page as um, another user. I'm going to go ahead and click on some stories. And boom, there it is. See that watch video? I'm going to put my hand on it try to hold it. All right, here it is. I'm going to hit watch video. Boom. Right? As you can see, it trans- transition was smooth. I don't have to regain their trust. They don't have to figure out, wait, what, what happened? What am I listening to? They just go ahead and continue listening. They go from listening to 15 seconds to the, up to the full 9 minutes and 43 seconds. So that is one strategy, Right? All right, so also, you also have your post. Well, Yolanda, what do we do with our IGTV as a post? I'm going to go down here. I have a post here. Here's a post. Okay, I said full podcast, now playing on Dryer Bus IGTV and 27 Answers. Okay, so that's how we work the strategy. Beyond the panic of, and, and yes, it was a sheer panic of trying to figure out how to go from horizontal, vertical, wide, horizontal um, landscape, widescreen, back to portrait. If you're going to go and don't just go grab the YouTube videos thinking you can drop that on Instagram, um, go back to the drawing board, go back and make sure the videos are properly formatted because it's frustrating to try. You're watching somebody's video and you can see that there's text on the screen or titles on the screen and you can't see it or the video is shifted. You might have to go back and spend a little bit of time editing those videos because you want there, you want the experience to be a great experience. For more answers on how to create buzz, filter your favorite platform for hashtag 27 answers.